look at the size of those snowflakes. So not much happening today other than getting caught up on some paperwork and bill paying and different things like that. But I do have an update for you on the Kia Soul key that we, I say we, we don't know who, but that got lost or misplaced. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we sold a car and the customer had gotten a hold of us early this morning and said she found a key in the car that didn't belong to the car that we sold her. Guess which key it was. So, having said that, we can only assume that when we were moving cars one time, slipped out of somebody's hand or pocket and got wedged between the seat somehow or whatever. Anyways, long story short, we've got a key, the key is sold, the original key, and it's, uh, we don't have to take it to the city to get it uh, programmed. But we will make an appointment to get a key, a second key, one of the ones that I bought, programmed so that we don't run into a problem like this again with that particular vehicle. So anyways, just figured I'd give you guys an update and uh, we'll be back at you here soon. Good morning guys, as we uh, make our way to work this morning, the roads are slippery due to some freezing rain and we've got Junior coming with us today because the old Dakota meat wagon has uh, suffered another blow. We think it might be a fuel pump and uh, it's sitting on the side of the road downtown. <clears throat> We're gonna have to go see if we can get it uh, started and dragged back to the shop, so keep you updated on that. Stupid. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Marvelous. Yep, those armrest looks good once they're in there. Yeah. Oh, I think he'll be happy to get a drive, get driving it this uh, this year. I would imagine. How long is he headed for? Uh, in April, I think it'll be two years at least. So. Once you work on something, well, and this is this is the this is the longest he's gone at it is that he in, in one kind of one stretch, yeah. trying to get everything going because before we were just so busy in the shop, and you know yeah. everything else kept yeah. him away from it. So this winter he had a pretty good stretch. The last two or three months he's been plugging away at her pretty hard. So, and the uh, the biggest challenge over something that he couldn't do was the interior. Yeah. So once he's got that done, he can start putting away at everything else. And yeah, that's right. He'll be driving in no time. Oh yeah, the buy. Uh... Well, we've had a few of those days. I've seen motorcycles out too. It is Saturday and we are heading to Callus in the 2013 Dodge Dart. And uh, I will have to admit, I am very impressed with this car. This, this particular one is a limited model, so it's got all the luxuries, the GPS, the heated seats, oh, and the heated steering wheel. Man, this is a type of car that spoils you. And uh, the reason why I'm driving the Dart today is because Alex's truck the old Dodge Dakota meat wagon has died. The fuel pump, I think, is bad in it. So he's driving the Pathfinder, and that leaves me without a regular set of wheels, so I just took the Dodge Dart off the lot. And we 
are going to Calus to pick up some mail and maybe grab some lunch. So be right back. Well, so I'm just off to Canadian Tire, which is Project Central, I guess, for a weekend project. And I'm getting ready to start installing sound deadener in my car, the Chrysler. But in order to do that, I don't have enough light in my garage so I can see everything I'm doing inside. So we're going to go to Canadian Tire and pick up some lighting uh, that I can you know, put inside the vehicle and help me see better. My honey-do list is complete, so my wife says I can go up and play. So this is what I was looking for, something to hang under the hood or inside. And this one is on sale. So I think we'll take one of them. Well, I got myself some lights, but you can't come to Canadian Tire and not check out the tool section and see what's on sale. Because uh, I like my tools. Ooh. Ratchet wrenches. So when you go into Canadian Tire, you generally don't tell your wife that you're going there because you go in for one little thing and you come out spending a lot more than you should have. Yes, there were some few tools on sale. But they were on sale. I saved like a lot of money. tripod that I can stand on the floor and it's a two-piece so this part here just kind of comes out like so and the light itself there's quite a resemblance to something out of Little Shop of Horrors or Alien or something along those lines but nevertheless she bright But by the looks of things, it's going to need a charge first. So we'll get that thing on charge and we'll open up the other light and see what it looks like. Inside the car for when you're doing some cleaning or doing some uh, work up underneath the dash. And what makes this one unique is that it holds up for easy storage, and when you need it, there it is. So it's probably going to need a charge. These little hooks here, stems, so you can reach different size hoods, and of course, my hood is fairly big. Again, we're out in the garage and I've got my lovely assistant, my wife, who is going to help me um, tear apart the interior, which means the seats and the console have to come out, as well as the carpet. And what we're going to be installing is a Dynamat-like insulation product that's going to help deaden the sound as well as it generates quite a bit of heat in the engine and sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, that heat uh, generates up through the floor. So we're going to try and get the car gutted out, and the next time we come back to work on this, we're going to have to either heat the garage or wait for a nice warm spring day, because that Dynamat type insulation is a has a sticky back on it so that it needs to stick, and it won't stick if it's that cold. So And uh, so we're going to get started here.
Well there, that didn't take very long at all. We got the carpet out, we got the underlay out, which is this stuff, which really isn't doing a whole lot of good to uh, insulate anything. But we'll get the Dynamat product down and get a few things cleaned up and then we'll put that back down over it, carpet, reassemble everything and she should be good to go. Thanks again guys for tuning in. I really appreciate all the comments and please, if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, click on the box right here and if you want to subscribe, click here. Thanks again and have a great day. We'll see you next time.